the Center for Individualized Medicine, story by story, a video series on topics in individualized medicine at Mayo Clinic. Today we're in the Stabile Building and we're going to go story by story with Dr. Kalil and Katie Ager, a genetic counselor, to talk about familial hypercholesterolemia. There they are. Dr. Kalu, I know you've been doing some great work with FH. Can you tell people what that means? Sure. So FH stands for familial hypercholesterolemia. It's an inherited disorder of cholesterol metabolism. And individuals that are affected usually have twice or even higher levels of bad cholesterol, also known as LDL cholesterol. We each have two copies of a gene, one from mom and one from dad. And even if just one of them, the copies is abnormal, the person will get the disease. Katie, as the genetic counselor in the CV Genomics Clinic, when patients come in and they have questions about FH or a recent diagnosis, genetic testing in general, can you tell me a little bit about what you cover with them? Yeah, so when I meet with patients, we often talk a lot about the ins and outs of genetic testing, what it would mean for the individual, what it would mean for their family. Since we know this is a genetic condition, this often has a lot of implications for other family members. So oftentimes I'm talking to patients who are very concerned about what this means for their family members. Dr. Clue, now when the patient comes into the clinic to see you regarding their FH diagnosis, what are some of the important things you cover? So I think one of the key things is not only to treat the affected individual, in other words, we call that the proband, but also encourage them to seek out their first degree relatives or other family members that may be affected. This is known as cascade screening, and in countries like the Netherlands, this has been spectacularly successful in identifying new cases before they actually develop heart attack and stroke. Tell me a little bit more about what you have going on in the lab. We are working on a whole spectrum of things related to FH, uh, starting from developing um, uh, what we call a phenotyping algorithm to identify individuals who have FH from the electronic health record so that those can be flagged and providers can then be aware of this diagnosis and then can start treating them. We are also uh, working on gene discovery because 80% uh, of these individuals we can have a genetic test that's positive. But in the remaining 20%, we often don't know what the genetic etiology is, so we are going to do gene discovery on those individuals. The Center for Individualized Medicine, story by story, Mayo Clinic's elevator ride through patient care, education, and research.